Hey, how's it going, motherfuckers? My name's Alfie, and welcome to the park. And we are going to be carrying on. We were on the first wheel. We found out that uh, Dom or whoever it is, someone's, uh, what's his name? Our son's dad died. He died on a Ferris wheel, which is pretty sporting, considering that we were on it as well. I don't know if we're supposed to leave these on. Or maybe we're not. Maybe we're supposed to turn them off. Because we can put it back on. We also saw that guy in the top hat again. He popped by for a little visit. What's that noise? Alright, the noises in this game are incredible. Ugh. Oh, we're back here. Oh, we're on the other side now, though. Oh, of course, because we went up that little area, didn't we? What the fuck? Those noises! Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So is there more on this side now? No. So what, what are we going to do on this side? Is there a way to climb up, maybe? We haven't been able to climb thus far, so I don't think so. Anything over here? Oh, hang on. No, you can't go this way. I thought we could, like, crawl. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go back up to the Ferris wheel then. <coughs> Looks like we haven't got a flashlight. We, she did mention something about a flash, flashlight before. So we we possibly just completely missed it. And if we have, then I'm very sorry. But if if we have missed it, leave a comment at the bottom because I, I need to know. <laughs> I need a flashlight. I probably won't see it too for quite a while, but you know, it might. Still good to know. Right. What was that? I hear noises everywhere. So this is the way we should have. Oh, maybe. Alan, where did you go? Oh, fuck off! Oh, that sent chills down my spine. Where? Where? Hello? Oh, look! One of the things fell down. This is where it went. Hang on. How did it get so far away? How did it go so far down? Oh, no, I'm alright. I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm not picking that thing up. That is a doll. Oh, what's that? Shit, things. Oh, shit. Alright, that, that wasn't that bad. I was expecting something a lot worse. So more stuff fell off. Oh, we can move now. Okay. So I took... The roller coaster ticket or something? Oh, uh, look at that freaky thing. I can't stop looking at it. I guess that's not the teddy. Anyway, let's see if there's anything over here we can look at. Now this thing has come off. No, it doesn't look like it. Where did that other one go? That other one went somewhere. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good. I love Damn. this. She's Fuck like... those people. <laughs> you give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... We all go insane. There you Every go. That confirmed my suspicions. Oh, <gasps> fucking roller That's coasters! Choice, bias. All right, getting on that. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Well, you can. I mean, you know, that's probably what you're going to do, isn't it? Or maybe that's you've made up this like what I think is she's making all this up in her head obviously to try and justify I guess leaving him in a park and I think the teddy bear it is my current the current thesis or theory we will get on this but what I think happened right is uh, you know right at the beginning they were talking about the missing teddy I think what she's done is left her kid in the park and she's maybe gone back and she's gonna find him dead or something 
But I think this is all in her head. Obviously, it's all in her head, but it's all in her head because she having the kid drive her insane. She, I guess, because she, she was a single parent or whatever. You know, I'm not gonna get political. Whatever the fucking reason, she went insane. And it, uh, I think this is all in her head. She's made it up to try and justify her actions. It's actually used, like, it's a very done trope, but you know, it works. Oh, mate, look at that loops and shit. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. I right, hate first time for everything, huh? Let's be doing this shit. Get me on the ride. Run, for God's sake. It's quite big as well, Jesus. I could really use a flashlight. Oh my God, I can't even. I can't even stress that enough. How do I get on there? Where's the ride at? Oh, hold on. What was that? Here we go. Come here. Hang on. Aha! There it is. <coughs> Fuck yeah. Let's do this. Woo! Oh, hell yeah. What do you want? Whoa! You what the fuck? Talk about what do you mean? What? What have you done to him? I. Oh, it's right behind me. Everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Oh. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. The park ate Tell him. Me where my son is. Oh, it's a hand. has it now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm gonna get down as well. Just, it's epic. Just leave me alone. Fool, you always were. Ah, uh, I bet he gets off here. Oh, yeah, he did. Whoa, hell yeah! Woo! Oh shit! What the fuck? What's happening? Oh, it's being rushed to the hospital ward. Oh, dude, this is epic. Woo! Whoa! What did that say? Oh, I'm missing these things. Hang on, let's see if I can just look straight. I missed those two things. They had writing on the walls. It's not safe. You taste your dreams. Whoa! Oh! Callum got fucked. Eat that shit, Callum. That's what he gets being a little bitch boy. Not doing as you're told. Where did that guy go? That dude was just like talking to us. Because in my headphones, I'm wearing headphones, and in the headphones he was talking like right next to my ear. Are we on the other side now? Yeah, we are. Man, that was epic. I love this game. He did a brilliant job capturing that really grim feeling. Flashlight! Oh, thank Christ. The witch awaits. The witch awaits. Oh, we gotta find the witch. Can you pick that lantern up? Callum! Callum! How do I use my flashlight? Hello? This isn't a game, Callum! Callum's dead, love. I, I don't mean to uh, break it to you, but I think he might be dead. So I guess this is like the gift shop. I, I can't use the flashlight. I, it gave one to Callum, me. Callum, where are you? You're accidentally talking Callum to Callum. Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. What? I've asked How'd you know him, that? Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Oh. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. Who's she talking about? He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, oh. he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. They are watching him. Every this girl's of every voice day. acting is cool, man. I love it. Sleep, this lady's nailing him. it. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will <clears> understand why. Okay, I heard noises. 
So she is going proper loco now. Descending into madness. What is this place? I need a flashlight. Where's my flashlight? Oh crap. No! <laughs> Come back! Yeah, I see that, but I need a flashlight. Where's my flashlight? It's not letting me use it. I, I don't know what it is, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe there's a, a way to have a look at the settings. Uh, controls. No. Maybe it'll tell me at some point. Read the newspaper. Teddy bear. The you can get another teddy bear. I was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Uh, cotton candy corpse uh, leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Yesterday evening, visitors of Atlantic Island Park were shocked and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to local authorities, the corpse was not yet uh, sorry is yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth or Innermouth Innsmouth Academy, who noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Uh, Nathaniel Winter, the owner of the Atlantic Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that is designed to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park uh, offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victims who, uh, we will, and will cooperate fully with authorities to help bring this case to rest. The Solomon Chronicle will provide a daily update on the story going forward. Okay. What, 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 what? I was going to say, there weren't any scary, sinister fucking things jumping at us, but... It's normally what happens now, isn't it? When you finish reading something, something will jump out at you. But that's how some games are really great. Some horror games... Ew, ew, no. Some horror games, they'll lower you into that full sense of security where you feel like you know the rules. You know if you read that newspaper or that article or whatever, that piece of paper, that something's going to jump out at you. But that didn't happen that time. So my thinking is, because that was a perfect opportunity, because it was right behind the stand, they could have had something jump straight out at you, like a teddy bear or something. But what I think is, is that they, they instead of doing that, they lower, lower you into a full sense of security, so you feel like that is what should happen. It doesn't happen, and now, like right now, I know I'm rambling, but right now I'm not expecting anything to jump out at me right now, I think I'm safe, but then there was that cry. Sorry, I'm trying to analyse a horror game, I'm sorry. I, I just really love it, I think it's great. What the fuck? Oh, the cotton candy. I hear movement. Oh, shit. Oh, bruv. It's a corpse. I don't want to examine the corpse. I want to look at this thing. It's a clown mask. Oh, bastard. We did this too much. Oh, here we go. Ooga, booga, 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 booga. Uh, why are you Chad? Fuck you Chad! I knew there was something, you see what I mean? Oh god, well done game. Oh, oh, bravo. Jesus, that got me really good. Did not expect that. Fucking Chad just there like a twat. Oh, Chad, you beast. No, it was obviously Chad that did it. I have a good feeling that it was him that did it. Oh, Chad. What are you doing? Funny side note, half of, half of my uh, family are named, their second names are Chad. Take pills, no I'm alright. I hear a door. Should we, I guess we gotta take these pills. These are mine. How do you know? It doesn't say Lorraine on there. We're not, oh yeah it does. Okay. Whoa, whoa! This looks beautiful don't believe anything they they tell you ah this is us in the mental ward i see so we're taking the pills i'll explain in a minute okay so if you like what you see guys remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode my friends <laughs> love you lots peace